Barry's training continued at Dunleary Camp, and within a month, he was transformed into a tall and proper young soldier. During this time, the regiment's strength was steadily increased by the arrival of other troops in preparation for joining their gallant armies fighting in Germany. One of these occasions brought the welcome appearance of no other than his second in the fatal duel, Captain Grogan. better for all of us if we'd known what had become of you. Didn't you think of writing to your mother? Of course I did. But the shame I felt of losing all her money. My father's sword and pistol. I couldn't tell her. Your mother wouldn't care a pin about those things. You were her only concern. Now you must sit down tonight and write her a proper letter and tell her that you're safe and well and married to Brown Bess. I will. Is Miss Brady well? There are only six Miss Bradys now. Has something happened to Nora? She took on so about your going away that she was obliged to console herself with a husband. She is now Mrs. John Quinn. Mrs. John Quinn? Was there another John Quinn? No. The very same one, my boy. He recovered from his wound. The shot you hit him with was not likely to hurt him, for it was only made of tow. Tow? Do you think the Bradys would let you kill 1,500 a year out of the family? The plan of the duel was all arranged in order to get you out of the way, for the cowardly Quinn could never be brought to marry from fear of you. But hit him you certainly did, my lad with a fine, thick plug of toe. <laughs> the fellow was so frightened that he was an hour in coming to. Are you in want of cash? You may draw on me, for I got a couple of hundred out of your uncle for my share. And while they last, you shall never want. <laughs> 